welcome back. My name is Liesl Kompion. I'm a clinical dietitian. I have 20 years experience in the field of dietetics, both in the UK and in South Africa. Today I'm going to talk about stress management in the home. And this is very relevant as we are living in difficult times now. We have a lot of extra stress on our plates. We are concerned about our health, the health of our loved ones, as well as financially and a lot of other things going through our minds. I'm going to answer a few questions on stress management. The first one is, how does stress affect my physical and mental health? I first want to say that stress is normal. So not all stress is bad. So a little bit of stress is actually good for us to help us complete the task or to help us to actually survive when we are in danger and also just to help us focus faster. But when we are exposed to chronic constant stress and thoughts of stress, it can have a detrimental effect on our health, both physical as well as mental. So what happens in our bodies when we stress? Uh, we release something called a stress hormone, cortisol. So cortisol is released by the adrenal glands that sit just above the kidneys. So in somebody with normal stress levels, cortisol levels is quite high in the morning and it tapers off to, towards the evening when our body will go into rest and sleep and that's why we have more energy in the mornings. But when we are exposed to extreme constant stress, we experience high levels of cortisol throughout the day and our levels will run high like this. So that means we will get agitated, anxious, so the, the adrenal glands will get tired eventually and will then stop producing cortisol and that is when we get into adrenal fatigue where our cortisol levels will run very low. The next question is, so how can we manage our stress levels? Take time to relax, even if it is five minutes in the morning, connecting with nature can really help to relieve a lot of stress. Do things that you enjoy, so have a little bit of fun. And other practical things is to start doing more exercise. And it hasn't, doesn't need to be severe, just moderate exercise is actually fantastic to relieve stress, as well as eating a well-balanced diet that consists of good quality proteins, adding a healthy fat to that and make sure that you have a little bit of low glycemic index carbohydrates with your meals to keep your blood sugar stable throughout the day. Very important is to stay away from too much caffeine. Caffeine can increase your cortisol levels and make you more agitated and anxious. So have your cup of coffee in the morning or maybe another one but then the rest of the day rather focus on drinking your rebus tea. Remember that dehydration, like I said, increases cortisol. So we want to try and prevent any dehydration in the body. How can carmine tea help to relieve stress? Carmine tea is naturally caffeine free. And because caffeine dehydrates the body, that can actually increase our cortisol levels. Carmine tea is the ideal drink to keep our bodies relaxed throughout the day. It's also high in polyphenols, which has been shown to regulate cortisol levels. It also widens the blood vessels and cause it to relax so therefore it will help to reduce things like high blood pressure and um, levels of anxiety you can drink throughout the day different flavors of rebels tea or you can just stick to the normal natural rebels try out a variety of flavors in the kiddies range you've got the sleepy time so that's for adults or children and it is um, a natural rebels tea with added chamomile strawberry flavor and really a delicious tea the carmine relax tea that has got chamomile and rooibos tea flavor and this tea is also fantastic to drink at night or throughout the day when you want to relax a bit. There's nothing nicer than sitting outside in the garden, take a five minute break and drink your favorite cup of tea to relax your body. It was wonderful to speak to you. Please send through any questions to us on Instagram or Facebook or to our email address. Thank you very much. Bye bye.